couple of weeks off for summer in Australia and the swarms just keep on coming. It's uh, such a wonderful season. That in the field, there's lots of weed, flowers, there's lots of exotics, grass almost as high as the cows in the paddock. Anyway, normally the season would be tape tapering off, but it just keeps on happening. This one wants to come home with me already. Uh, I should be going to work, but the bees are boss. Now, I've got so much of my equipment tied up with other activities, I've had to quickly cobble together the most rudimentary equipment. Um, but it shouldn't take too long. They've settled in this Acacia Bulmanoi, Snowy, snowy, snowy River Wattle. I'm just going to ring that for it. I'm going to open this up. Like I say, a very, very rudimentary setup. Haven't even got enough proper frames, so I'm going to have to move these on fairly quickly. Uh, I'm going to lower them down onto this. And uh, all things being equal, I will get to do some real paid work uh, soon. Okay folks, here we go. It's um, warming up. They're, going, they're, they're more active than when I first found them half an hour ago. It's 12 degrees Celsius here. Um, it's at 55 degrees. And the day's going to be fine. So they're going to be, the stouts are going to be out and about any time soon. So I've got to move fairly quickly before. I can't leave these here. I'm in a, a reserve, which is a very busy reserve in my hometown of Cherubombra. So there's going to be a few stragglers stay behind. No, 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 no. Oh. I think these ones might be a bit feisty. I'm going to sit it up. Take two. trying to improve the drop zone. I've lost my red carpet. Don't know where I left it. I should have it here. Just going to weaken this branch a bit. bumping me. I'm not trying to cut it through, I'm just trying to weaken it.
good loppers are a, are a must. These are um, these have done me well for many many years. Barco, Barco, Swedish. The least amount of extraneous material, the better. Because it'll, it'll only give you group. Then bump a mix, but this lot might need recoining. What I don't know is how long they've been here. They might have been here for a couple of days. There's a neighbour that alerted me to it. I don't want to cut this right through. Just want to weaken it. Mm. I really don't want them to go everywhere. Have a little break. A little bit of a thing. I'm going to get the tarp out of my car. The tarp down here. I'll just put the tarp down underneath the box. I'm expecting this will give way when I'm not ready for it. That could go everywhere. If I lose them in the grass, I certainly don't want to lose the coin. I've changed now to parrot nose loppers so that I can carefully weaken this. The other ones are the anvil type, and um, sometimes they'll just go through with that, you know, without having full control. So I've gone with the parrot nose one. That is my game, landscaping. Cockatoo. One of the loudest birds in the world. Excuse me for being conservative. Okay, we'll try that. audience up in the tree there. They actually nest in the eucalypt hollows in this, in this reserve. They're a bit like our kangaroos, they like to be around humans. Hands or would be good, but they probably wouldn't like the vibration. I 
I know what you're thinking. It looks so easy. But it ain't. I thought it'd be easy just to chop it off in one go. And that would be very entertaining for the rest of you. Sure. But not so entertaining for me. That might have done it. Come on, yeah. There we have it. 95% successful. one I prepared earlier. Now they have been here for a little while you can see the um, they've been exuding the, the wax. Their bodies are primed ready to make new cones so I'd say they've been here for a few days. Got to get this lot up. Two dozen down on the ground, a couple of hundred in the air, probably 10,000 in the box, maybe 12, 12. Anyway, the rest will be a bit boring, but I'm going to sign out, get another swarm. Jim from Country Contacts. <laughs> <laughs>